Hi children, this is Auntie Mariana and today I'm going to read to you from the book African Animals, Rhymes and Recipes written by Tracy Going. Yes, you heard right. At the end of the story, there's a recipe which you can ask your parents to help you with. But first, a few interesting facts about animals. We have reached T in the alphabet. Did you know that baby hippos are born underwater and their mothers help them to the surface of the water after they are born? The hippo usually stays under the water for about four to six minutes before coming up for air. Although they spend most of their time in the water, they are too heavy to swim. And about the impala. The female impala usually only gives birth to one baby at a time. Impala are known for their jumping abilities and can jump about 3 meters high and about 9 meters forward. And jackals mate for life. They kill small prey with a bite to the back of the neck or they might shake them to death. Jackals are very vocal but they use a particular call when communicating with their family. And something about the kudu. The hierarchy among kudu males is usually determined by age and size. The males engage in sparring contests. They approach each other slowly, lock horns, and push until the weaker one gives up. And about your strong lion... Male lions only stay in the pride if they are strong enough to defend and protect the pride from other males. They are the only cats that live in large family groups. And then there is the meerkat. Meerkats eat scorpions by quickly biting off the sting and then eating the rest. When they wake up in the morning, they all come out of their burrows and stand around as they catch some of the sun's rays. Today, our first letter is T. T for tortoise. And did you know that although the Solcata tortoise lives in an arid region, it does require constant access to water. Out in the wild, they dig long tunnels in order to avoid getting dehydrated. T is for the tortoise, so tender and tame. It is a big, hard shell for which it has fame. The sulcata is the third largest in creation, but sadly not many left of this generation. Its protective shell is its greatest weapon under which it hides for daily protection, used to ram others when scared or cross, knocking them over and winning the toss. They might look big, lazy and so very slow, but they are always ready to move and go. Before you know it, look or turn around, not a tortoise to be seen, heard or found. They live so long and become so very old, up to 150 years, I'm told. They graze and forage, and through the day, here comes the tortoise tart, make way. Tortoise tarts. Tortoises love to eat all day, especially anything colorful like tomatoes, strawberries, and apricots. You will need wooden spoon, a big bowl, table knife, rolling pin, muffin tin, and 200 grams of flour, 100 grams of soft butter, one tin of apricots, one jar of apricot jam, and one teaspoon of water. Also, a 8 centimeter cutter, a wire cooler, a chopping board, and a pastry brush and a fork. To make it, 
You rub the flour and butter between your fingers until the mixture is evenly mixed. Add a tablespoon of water and mix till a doughy lump. Set aside for 20 minutes. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Sprinkle some flour onto the chopping board and roll out the pastry until 3 millimeters in thickness. Cut pastry into rounds and place into the muffin tin. Prick each a few times with a fork. Put an apricot half into each round and bake for 20 minutes. Allow to cool, then remove the tarts from the tray with a table knife and set them on the wire cooler. Brush each tart with the apricot jam and leave until they are well cooled. And now you for Ugandan cob. Our interesting fact is that the Ugandan cob is not protected and is found in large numbers throughout its range. Unfortunately though, that range is shrinking by eating grasses, cobs help to keep the plains in a state of regrowth. For our rhyme, you is for Ugandan cob so utterly urbane. Slight like impala, but not quite the same. So handsome with a reddish-brown pelt and white-ringed eyes, they are so swelt. Males use their horns to slash and clash, fighting others with a resounding crash. Marking the space with a piercing whistle, they dash and dart around as they bristle. Afraid of lions, leopards and hunting dogs. Leaping, they bounce over rocks and logs. Taking refuge in water and wet reed beds. A good camouflage thanks to their threads. With big white ears and a burp on the throat. What an unusual and unique trench coat. For Uganda the land, it's a national buck. It's a Ugandan cop up ender. What luck! And now for our Ugandan cob up ender. This delightful upside down pineapple pudding will have you facing the day the right way up. Your tools, an ovenware baking dish, baking paper, a bowl, a wooden spoon, a serving dish, scales and a sieve and also 100 gram self-raising flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, 100 grams soft butter, 100 gram caster sugar, two large eggs, 25 milliliters milk, one tin of pineapple rings, and half a cup of syrup. Now to make it, first preheat the oven to 180 degrees, Sift the flour and the baking powder into the bowl. Add the butter, eggs, caster sugar and milk and beat till smooth. Line the ovenware dish with the baking paper. Cover the bottom with the pineapple rings and pour over the syrup. Then carefully pour the cake mixture on top. Bake for 40 minutes till golden brown. Flip over carefully onto a serving dish so that the pineapples are on top. Peel off the baking paper and you can eat this either hot or cold. Next is V for Vari. Vari, unlike other primates, the ruffled lemur doesn't carry its young on its back or on its stomach. A female gives birth and leaves her young in a nest made from twigs, leaves and vines. The nest is about 10 to 20 meters off the ground. V is for the very vivacious and vocal Vari, a black and white ruffled lemur on safari. 
found in the rainforest of Madagascar, a large island off the east coast of Africa. Rough white fur around its neck and ears, one of the largest lemurs alive of its peers. From top of its head to the tip of its tail, it is only four feet long on the high scale. It barks and screams as part of its loud call, an ear-splitting sound, a thunderous squall. With staring eyes that glow red in the dark, a noiseless step it moves from tree to bark. It likes to eat sweet fruits, leaves and seeds, but its best is the nectar on which it feeds. Prodding deep in flowers with its long nose, let us do the Vari vegetables. Here goes. Vari vegetables. Nothing beats the fresh goodness of a delicious vegetable dish. You will need an ovenware dish, a chopping board, a knife, vegetable peeler, a grater, and six large potatoes sliced, two large onions sliced, one medium butternut peeled, and sliced, half a cup of freshly chopped parsley, 300 milliliters of fresh cream, 100 grams grated cheddar cheese, salt and pepper. First, preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Then layer the potato, onion and butternut, sprinkling the chopped parsley between the layers. Also, between the layers, add some salt and pepper, not too much. Cover with the cream and sprinkle the grated cheese on top. Bake until the potatoes are soft for about 45 minutes and enjoy. Until next time, Auntie Mariana saying goodbye. These stories are read by Mariana Lawrence with permission from the book African Animals, Rhymes and Recipes, written by Tracy Going and published by Penguin Books. A percentage of the proceeds from the sale of this book goes to Child Welfare South Africa. And remember, if you want a copy of any of the recipes, you can WhatsApp Auntie Mariana on 083-657-657. 0113